What's going on, esports family? It's Tree here with CEI Esports, and we are at Evo 2023. We just touched down right here in Las Vegas, and I gotta say, the event so far is crazy. It's only day one. There's a lot to see, there's a lot to capture. Gamers, fans, vendors, everything, all in one place. It seems like all of the people who came were ready to play. Everyone's walking around with hitbox arcade sticks, their own consoles, the community areas are packed. I'm just trying to figure out where I could fit in. Maybe I could get in. I have, I, I got my, book. I got some controllers in my bag, but you know, I, I, I'll be a little bit calm, but we're really here to kind of see what it looks like, really taking the event and hopefully meet some cool and interesting people. So stick with us and you'll see the whole event, baby. Esports in New York City, that's where we come from. Uh, all five boroughs, about 50 or so schools. And and looking at this, like we're, we're I'm thinking of ways how we can improve like our esports lab that we teach out of. A piece like this for the students to see would probably be amazing. Um, and the fact that you guys are doing this stuff handmade, like I commend you guys. Uh, we need more pieces like this. Swappable D-pads. D-pads have height to it, so it's definitely easier to get to, especially when, you know, doing your combos, I guess. Paddles, perfect in the right spot, easy to access. Parts are swappable, of course. You wanna change this out, you can, to get a little bit more height, or get closer to the actual D-pad, you can. Quality, quality, quality. Notice the Xbox kind of shape to it, even though this, in particular is a PlayStation controller. It has the feel for a bigger hand, which I guess you would really need, considering that there's a lot of buttons and a lot of things to get to. Especially when utilizing it fully, you wanna be able to have full grip of the full controller, front and back, and they're definitely achieving that here. Awesome. Oh, that's not the thing. Oh, that's the cover. Tekken, showcasing here at EVO 2023, we got Tekken 8, the first time we actually seeing full gameplay, full competitors, the lines to play it are crazy, and it looks great. That's a win, baby. Of course, we have to have Street Fighter 6 here at EVO. Uh, this is its first appearance, of course, the game just came out, but already has some of the biggest and highest number of signups that EVO has had for a competition in I don't know how many years. So clearly the fan base is what they want, is what they expect, and of course, they're here to play. If you look around the whole event, somewhere amongst the rubble of what's going on, there's someone playing Street Fighter, and I think it's a good thing. Another big hitter near and dear to my personal heart, we have Mortal Kombat, and specifically Mortal Kombat 1. Uh, of course, EVO 23 being sort of the final resting place for Mortal Kombat 11. It's seen a great run. It's had several years of being one of the top tournament played games. But now, with the closing of it and moving on to MK1, fans have the first hand chance to experience the game, kind of feel what it's like, and start getting a little bit of practice in for next year. More than likely, this will be a top game and something that we definitely see on the main stage. So I'm glad to see that fans are able to play and get full hands-on experience here at EVO 23. We're here with another huge, huge game, Dragon Ball Fighters. Been making an appearance basically at every EVO since it came out. One of the top games, it's good to see that people still are hyped and enthusiastic about it and are still playing competitively at a high level. This is definitely a fan favorite and I'm definitely glad to see it here at EVO 23. 